Okay, Raul, uh, it's now around 10.25 on uh, Geneva time, Monday night. Uh, you were up at uh, the World Intellectual Property Organization uh, all evening, right, waiting for the informal negotiations to, uh, to break up. Yes. Can you tell me what happened when they broke up? So we were waiting uh, to hear news on the Treaty for the Visually Impaired, which we've been working on now for the last four or five years. And uh, so as we were waiting outside, the delegates started streaming out. And uh, one of the delegates from uh, Africa, who has been helping us with the treaty, um, said that uh, um, that the U.S. delegate said that if the work program on education is pushed for by Africa, then that they would stall all. Uh, all programs including the Treaty for the Visual Impact. This is what I understood from the uh, African delegate um, and that uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow because this is what I understand that the US delegate said from the African delegate. It's incredible. Yes, yeah, pretty incredible considering that uh, the African group had delinked itself between the Treaty for the Visual Impact and all the other exceptions and limitations and uh, suddenly the U.S. has apparently uh, brought these two back together. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, doesn't everyone understand that if you link the Treaty of the Blind to any other issue, it will be blocked? Yes, I mean that is the reason why uh, Africa itself, who was originally pushing for a comprehensive treaty on exceptions and limitations, decided to delink the two uh, and uh, push for the Treaty for the Visually Impaired. At the same time, have a work program for education and other exceptions and limitations, which means work program is basically where you study the issue over the next two or three years. And it's not binding, it has no uh, implication, it's just a study to see uh, what the uh, what the state of play is with respect to education and other exceptions. Didn't the United States a few days ago complain about uh, the idea that some countries are trying to link the broadcaster treaty? Yes. To the Treaty for the Blind? Yes. And so, why do you think that they're trying to link the education issue to the Treaty of the Blind? Is it because they... I think, they, uh, I, I think that they don't want any discussion on work, the work program for education, I guess. I, mean, I can't think of any other reason why. And do you think that they're responding to lobbying pressure from the publishers? I don't have that information, but I don't see why else it would be the case. I mean, it's just conjecture, but I don't see any other reason why. Well, thank you, Raul. Is there anything you'd like to add before we conclude the interview? I think that uh, tomorrow will be a very exciting day uh, at WIPO. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you.